The curtain's about to go up on the first live performance at Manoa Valley Theater since the pandemic began. A lot of excitement for this one, and we talk with one of the stars about what theater fans can expect for the new show, Tiny Beautiful Things. A new production called Tiny Beautiful Things is coming to Manoa Valley Theater. And we have a chance to talk with one of the stars, Susan Hawes, who's going to be playing Sugar. So nice to have you on Living 808 with us today. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. Well, tell me first off about Tiny Beautiful Things. OK, so Tiny Beautiful Things originally was a um, it was a book that came out of an advice column. So there was an advice column called Dear Sugar, and you wrote into this anonymous person, Sugar, and um, he or she, whoever it was at the time, would just write back with some advice. Well, when Cheryl Strayed took it over, she, she also wrote Wild, um, a, a movie that was with Reese Witherspoon, but when she took it over, she made it really personal. And she told stories about herself um, to help people with things that they were going through, and it just became this huge, Hit. So after she stopped the advice column, she took a bunch of the letters and her answers and put them into a book called Tiny Beautiful Things. And then Mia Vardalos from My Big Fat Greek Wedding made a play out of it. I heard that you actually read the book. So kind of coming full circle now that you're starring in it, when you were reading it, did you have any aspirations or any thoughts this could be a possibility? I'm not usually into advice column type things and you know, or blogs or those sorts of things, but I was blown away by this book. I just loved it so much. And it was probably 10 years ago that I read it and I never expected it to be a play. It's just letters. It's, you know, one person writing in, one person responding. But the way that they've done it, where they bring the letter writers into her home with her, um, it's just, it's tremendous. It's such a great story. And um, my three letter writers, they play, you know, 20 different characters throughout the show. I know the local audience cannot wait to have a live production at Manoa Valley Theater. As a performer, what is it going to be like for you to be there on stage with real people in the audience? I know, I cannot wait. I'm super excited. Um, we've had one or two, you know, the, the tech, the crew, and people in there, but to see a big group of people out in there so close because at Manoa, you're right up there by the audience. It's just awesome. Far enough back so that it's safe, but it's not this massive theater. You actually get this intimate experience. Um, I'm so excited. We have uh, invited dress starting Tuesday. So we get to see people. It's funny, I didn't even get to see my cast members' faces for the first three weeks of rehearsal. So we're having these very you know, heavy, intimate conversations like this, all of our emotions were just eyes only. And then all of a sudden there's their faces. It's like, oh, real people again. <laughs> Obviously there have to be so many precautions. What can theater goers expect as they come to see a live performance? Well, everyone has their temperature checked. Um, everyone sits in groups only with their the people they bought tickets with. So your family members or very close friends who are in your bubble can sit together. Other than that, everyone's separated. There are only 40 seats available out of the 160, so it's very spaced out. Um, and that's it, temperatures, masks. Um, uh, we have to answer all of the questions every time I show up for rehearsal. No, I haven't been around. You know, the, all of the the usual questions. They're pretty hardcore at Manoa Valley, but it's for safety. It's a good reason. Like you said, too, limited seats, too, because of how we are. We're glad to have it open in person. And where can people go to get their tickets? Well, we're already sold out for opening night, but um, I believe there are tickets for the next night for Friday night coming up. But go to um, manoavalleytheater.com and you'll be able to find the link to Tiny Beautiful Things tickets and you can pick which night you wanna come and how many people are in your group. I would say it's a great show for everyone, but I would think teenagers and up uh, for some language and some um, circumstances that are in there, but uh, teenagers, middle school and older would be good for it. Susan, it's been a pleasure talking with you and I wish you in the cast the best as you bring back live performances to Manoa Theater. Thank you so much. Thank you, I hope to see you there. Thank you. A great concept, uh, but more beyond that, live back on stage, too. Something that we've been missing for over a year. Yeah, I, I, and I like the, uh, the thought that they're taking all the precautions that they need to take to be able to put this on. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, again, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to return back to normal and see something like this get put on.
Exactly. And the art's getting us through, too. So go check out the schedule there. It's starting this week. Let me